Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Today's video is another installment of What's for Dinner 2022. So let's go ahead and get started on this What's for Dinner video for you. Hey guys, tonight is my first recipe in my Instapot. So I have, am going to post a very intriguing picture on Instagram the day that this video goes live. You guys are gonna understand my pain here. So we are browning off this bacon until crispy. So we've got it currently on the saute setting. And we'll be ready to go to the next steps as soon as our bacon crisps up. And we're transferring this bacon to a paper plate with that is lined with paper towels. All right, we're cooking our onions just until they become translucent, which they're pretty much there. Abraham's saying hello to you guys. Next, we're gonna add in our minced garlic. You have to be careful with the bar garlic because it will burn. Next, we are going to add our thyme, our soy sauce, and our chicken broth. And you also want to add some brown sugar. Next, we're gonna add our boneless pork chops that have been seasoned with salt and pepper down into the mixture. And it's, over, it's okay if they overlap. Now we're gonna change our setting to manual. We're gonna put the lid on. All right, we are going to let it cook for one minute and then we're going to let it natural release for 10. I'll be back as soon as we're ready to take the lid off. For sides tonight, I am making some um, canned cut green beans. I've got some chicken broth in there, some bacon bits, and some butter. And I'm just gonna let those come up to temperature. I'm also gonna be making some stove top traditional sage um, stuffing mix as well. Okay, our pork chops had cooked for one minute and then they did slow release, natural release for 10. So now we're gonna take them out and put them on a platter. My husband's holding that platter for me. We're gonna turn our pot on saute. And I have a slurry here with cornstarch and with water that I'm going to dissolve and we're going to put it in our gravy. Before the cornstarch, we're gonna add apple cider vinegar. Then we're gonna let this come back up to temperature and we're gonna add our slurry. So we're gonna add that. And we're gonna keep on stirring. All right, my husband's gonna hold the plate and I'm gonna move you so that you guys can see him. Okay, there we go. And now we're just gonna take this and we're gonna spoon it all over our pork chops. And then the last step, we're gonna take our, crumb, our bacon that we cooked in the very beginning, that I crumbled that up and we're just gonna put it all over the top. And here is dinner tonight at our house, smothered pork chops in the Instapot. And here is my dinner plated up. 
stuffing, green beans, and smothered pork chops. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, we are having smoked pork chops. So I buy these at the meat market that we go to and they are good inch, inch and a half thick and they are smoked. So what we're gonna do is we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees and we're gonna let these come out up and get the chill off while we make some marinade to pour over the top. So as you guys know, I've been, my goal this month is to get stuff out of this girl's freezer and pantry. So these pork chops have been in my freezer. They're thawed and I'm gonna be cooked tonight. Can of sweet peas. Um, is coming out of the pantry. And I have a ton of these Knorr um, Italian sides, so I'm going to, to cook this four cheese pasta as well. All right, so this um, sauce that goes over our pork chops is so easy. You literally take ketchup and you take light brown sugar. You give it a really good whisk. We are going to pour this mixture all over the top. We are going to cover this with aluminum foil. We're going to bake this about 50 minutes, somewhere between 35 and 50 minutes, depending on how large your pork chops are, how thick. I found this simple um, sauce recipe on Pinterest and I'll make sure that I link it in the description box below as well. All right guys, our pork chops, um, they cooked for about 45 minutes and then I turned my broiler on and I let them go about five minutes under the broiler. I'm just letting these sit and rest while our sides finish up and we'll be ready to plate things up and have dinner. And here is dinner at our house. Smoked bone-in pork chops, peas, and pasta. Hey guys, tonight for dinner we are having grilled pork chops. I am going to season my pork chops up with this barbecue seasoning that we get from Rural King and just some simple black pepper. So I hope you all have been having a good day today. We, I had a, I had a bit, pretty busy work day, um, but at least it goes by fast, that's what I love. And then I just add some black pepper. These are thin boneless pork chops, so they won't take but a minute to get them um, cooked up outside on the grill. It's been pouring down rain most of the day here. Lucky us. Um, but this is how spring is in Indiana. So now all I'm doing is just getting that um, seasoning all over our chops. I'm going to flip these over and do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, we're gonna preheat our grill, and once these have been seasoned on both sides and sit out for a little while to get the chill off, I'll meet you outside and we'll get them cooked up. Sides for dinner tonight, we're keeping it really easy. We're having boxed macaroni and cheese and some whole kernel corn. Hey guys, we got our grill all heated up and now we're ready to cook our boneless chops. These are super thin, so they won't take very long at all. We're gonna let these cook, um, and we'll be back when it's time to flip. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give these a flip. Oh man, look at those grill marks. All right guys, it's starting to rain on us, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera back in. I'm gonna let these finish cooking, and I'll meet you inside. Um, and we'll get everything plated up just as soon as the sides are done. 
Okay guys, I just got back inside and here is our grill, uh, our grilled pork chops. I'm going to put some aluminum foil over these and let them rest while our sides finish up. And here is dinner at our house this evening. And that's a wrap on today's What's For Dinner video. Thank you so much for following along and I hope that you enjoyed these three pork chop recipes. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys in the next one.